welcome back to my bedroom once again to talk about some of the sustainable things I use every single day. If you missed the last episode of this little mini series, I'll link it up here, but basically, I think there are enough videos out there that talk about 100 zero waste swaps. Not coming for you, Amy. But I think that there have been a lot of videos that have gotten really big and a lot of people know about the basic zero waste swaps and the ones that are commonly talked about. But this little mini series, it's only gonna probably be two, maybe three videos at most. It's focused on the things that I use every single day, the tried and true things that I swear by and I absolutely love. We started the last episode of this little mini series on my bed, just for a change of scenery really, it was the only reason I did that in the last one. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about what I'm actually sitting on, my actual bedding and my mattress. Obviously I use my mattress every single day along with my sheets, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out. This video is not sponsored by them, but the mattresses in my home are from the Futon Shop or now known as Natural Home. They have a huge selections. Selections? Selection of sustainable mattresses to choose from, and I could not recommend them more. I actually get asked a lot about sustainable bedding and sustainable mattresses. I have blog posts on both, which I'll have linked below, but I wanted to shout that out because obviously, I sleep here every single day. And then on top of my mattress, I have a sheet set. So this is by a brand, um, actually I think it's based out of Tokyo. Don't, don't quote me, I might be wrong. But they actually use all natural linen fibers, which makes them get softer over time. And I've been a really big fan of them. They are dyed with indigo, which is a natural dye. So they're very, very light in color, which I'm a fan of. I think the kind of blue tone, if you can see it here, complements like all the greenery that's obviously in the room and all around my house. But what I really, really like about this brand is actually they don't even use elastic in their sheets. It's a traditional way of making sheets where rope is intertwined with the sheet and you pull it to tighten it to keep the sheets on the bed. So I really love that, that these sheets are completely plastic free. I also have other brands that I recommend, but that's what we have on this bed right here and the actual sustainable swap that I use every single day. And then when I get out of bed, because obviously we can't stay in bed all day, unless it's a rainy Sunday, in which case we will do. So let's get out of bed, head to the bathroom, and talk about some more sustainable zero waste swaps that I use every day. Next thing I use every single day, and if I didn't, Madison probably wouldn't wanna be close to me all the time, because I wouldn't smell too good, is obviously deodorant, and I use native deodorant. I've been using native deodorant for so long, for literally four, ish years. So this is aluminum and paraben free. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know I used to wear it even when it was packaged in plastic because it was the only deodorant that actually was long lasting, quick drying and worked for me. But then I think after years of me and all of you asking them to make a plastic free version of their deodorant, and this scent specifically is the charcoal scent because that's the one that I like. Every time I order, I just get multiples of this one because it's it's just so simple. This packaging is actually part of 1% for the planet. So by buying this, you're also giving back to the planet. You're helping the planet and giving back to it all at the same time. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and on top of all of that, if you use my code on the screen and the link at the top of the description, you can get 25% off of your first pack of native deodorant. If you look at the comments, many, many people have switched this deodorant and absolutely love it. I use it every single day, like I said, which is how it made it into this video. If I didn't wear it every single day, I, well, I mean, I don't see many people other than Madison, but like I said, she probably wouldn't want a lot to do with me. Don't mind me, just dropping my deodorant in the sink. Anyway, check out Native. They've been a really big supporter of my channel, like I said, for years. And I'm not kidding, it's the only deodorant that ever worked for me. So there's some other things in my bathroom I use every single day. Let's talk about them. So, many of you may know if you've been watching me for a while that I've been using David's toothpaste once again for years. Honestly, the texture of tooth tabs really, really freaked me out. And so while there were no toothy tabs that I was aware of that had fluoride, this was a better option for me. This also doesn't have fluoride, but it does come in an aluminum tube that makes it a lot easier to recycle after you clean it out. Most toothpaste tubes are actually made of plastic aluminum laminates, which is a mix of plastic and aluminum, making it very difficult to recycle. So I used this one for years, but then when I found out that there was a brand that could ship to me inside the US of tabs that have fluoride, I had to try them. So right now, this is what I'm using. These tabs are by Humankind. They come in a completely compostable packet. This is a reusable little jar that you can store them in and they work like any other toothy tabs 
but they have fluoride in them. Now I will say that my dentist told me that it's okay to use toothpaste without fluoride. It's not going to ruin your teeth because there's fluoride in our water to help protect our teeth. But I just figured if there is something I can do to make sure that I'm good to go, I would try the toothy tabs. I have to tell you guys, I've been using these every day for probably a month-ish. The texture is still irking to me. But I pride myself on trying to give everything a really, really fair chance to let myself get used to it. I would hate to switch back to a fluoride-free toothpaste just because I can't stand the texture of this. But right now, yes, this is what I'm using every single day. In my last video of things I use every day, I talked about this. So since this changed, I figured I should show you. Now, I don't know if it's weird for you guys to be sitting in my bathroom with me, but it's weird to be filming in my bathroom. So I only have one more thing I want to show you in here and then we can leave the bathroom. But this other combination is essential. So I have to show you. Ta-da! Yes my toilet paper and my bidet. I mean, I don't know where else I would sit to talk about this. What a weird job I have where I find myself talking to a camera while sitting on a toilet more than once. Anyway, the toilet paper I use, I use it every single day. It's by a brand called Who Gives a Crap. Again, if you've been watching me for a while, you know this, and there's also a discount I think it's $10 off with my name, code in the description. Again, not sponsored. Just something I genuinely use every single day. Who Gives a Crap Toilet Paper is plastic free and they use recycled materials to make the toilet paper. So I'm not growing an entire tree and chopping it down just to wipe your ass. Sounds like a lot of footprint for like convenience, you know what I mean? So I use this every single day, but recently within the last... Has it been a whole year? Maybe almost a year now, I've been using my bidet and I freaking love this thing. So mine is by Toshi. Again, I have a discount code with them. If you don't remember, we installed it in a video where I tested it out for Instagram purposes. I basically asked you guys what brands advertised to you on Instagram and I would test them out and let you know if they were worth buying. I did not expect to love my bidet after that experience, but I absolutely did. And I want one for downstairs because obviously, if you guys don't know, my office is downstairs. The toilet downstairs doesn't have one. So if I have to go number two during the day, I come up here. I cannot go number two without my bidet anymore. I have no shame about it. I cannot convince like literally anyone in my family to come in here and just use it so that they can try it. They seem to think it's just outrageously weird, but I'm telling you, if you give it a chance, it's the cleanest feeling you, I can't even describe it. So absolutely love my bidet. But with that, we- <laughs> There's the butt again. With that, we can finally leave the bathroom. Now, aside from things in my bathroom that I use every day, obviously I use some sustainable things uh, for work to run this channel. And I wanna talk a little bit about a few of those. So in the last episode of this little mini series, I actually talked specifically about the desk that I use. The desk is made of bamboo. It's also a hand cranking standing and sitting desk. So I love it. But while I was recording that, I thought about a couple things on my desk that I also use that are sustainable. So first of all, these are my blue light blocking glasses. There is a lot of up for debate on if the science is like steady on if these actually help block blue light and if it actually helps like your brain. The science doesn't point directly to one or the other. It's very wishy-washy, but personally for me, these have made a really big difference in my energy levels and also in helping me go to sleep at night because I'm not injecting so much blue light. Um, injecting? Is that the right word? But regardless, I really, really like these. These are by a brand called Pila, but I'll leave my whole blog post below of sustainable eyeglasses brands from ones that just do blue light to sunglasses to uh, prescription glasses as well. I think there's some for everybody in there. Not just US brands either, because I see you guys asking for brands outside of only the US. I have found a few. Yeah, I just really like these. I wear them pretty much anytime I'm doing work at my desk. If you follow me on Instagram, you will always see me wearing them because I'm sitting here working on my desk and then I'll just pick up my phone and talk to my Instagram for my story. And then I'm often doing something on the computer, whether I'm watching back a video or I'm watching YouTube videos in general, uh, or I'm editing something for the secret newsletter or something like that. These are the headphones I use. Well, I have a few different pairs that I wear on and off, but I definitely wear a pair of House of Marley headphones every single day. These are my favorite ones because they're basically a mimicked version of an AirPod. I think these are cool to make a statement. These are cooler than AirPods because they're made from recycled materials and wood, but I still look like I still got that 
that cool look going on. You know what I mean? So these are something that I use almost every single day. And if you have somehow not heard me talk about the brand House of Marley before, um, they use recycled materials to make their stuff. They also use bamboo, which is a much more eco-friendly material, obviously, than plastic or anything like that. The brand itself has really great ethics, etc. So the over-ear ones that I have, the big ones, I did find those secondhand. So finding something sustainable secondhand is like, just a mind blowing level of sustainability. So always secondhand first, but if you are looking to purchase anything new, these are really good. Those are the couple things I wanted to show you here at my desk. And now I can show you one of the things that's just outside my office that I've been using every single day. This garden over here, it's basically like, it is, it's a hydroponic garden, but I've been using it almost every day because it has a ton of different greens. I'm even growing tomatoes. I'll show you in just a second. I find myself going over here to get something off of it almost every single day. So I've just been really in love with it since I got it. I didn't think I was gonna love it this much, but I am a big fan now. So to demonstrate how I use it every single day, I'm gonna make kale chips, which has been a staple of mine recently. You might've seen it on my Instagram story. You gonna join me? He knows he's not supposed to be up here. Yeah, he's gonna help. takes three minutes in the air fryer and you've got kale chips. Just so that I'm not the only person giving you the testimony that it's really good, I'm gonna get my videographer to also tell you. This is V&A, she's here. She's gonna let us know if it's actually good or not. <gasps> wow. Whoa! <laughs> They're on, that sounded like a good one too. Did you hear the crunch? Okay, is this out of five stars, a 4.5. Wow, that's pretty good, right? Oh yeah, so good. And what happens also is a lot of times I used to buy it from the store, like the kale, and I would never get around to making it and the kale would go bad. But with the garden, the kale's just always fresh over there and I just grab it and make it. When you're done eating the kale chips, the stems have to go somewhere. So let's talk about something else that I use every single day. It's outside. I've been super lucky because we have curbside composting here. It's completely free in San Antonio, but the problem with that is obviously I wasn't getting any compost back from it. I still do put some stuff in our curbside compost, things that I don't really wanna put in here. Like any, pretty, pretty much anything that's not a whole food, I put it out there. But this compost bin has just been so dang easy. I think when it comes to living sustainably, simplicity is one of our biggest friends. So if it's easy and convenient, more people will do it. And literally all I have to do is open this up, put the stuff in there, close it and tumble it and it's kind of fun. If you don't have a backyard, I totally understand, but there are so many different ways to compost. This is just the one that we chose because it was the easiest and most convenient for us. But look into it, see which method works best for you because composting is one of the best things we can do. Oh my God, I got so dark. Hold on, hold on. Composting is one of the best things we can do for the planet. Well, those were some more things that I use every single day. I hope you like this video. It's not meant to entice you to go out and get anything that I use. Just to show you that with all the talk there is on the internet about these different sustainable products, these are the ones that I use and are my tried and true every single day. If you didn't see the last episode of this little mini series, I think I only have one more video in me and it'll probably be based on things that I use on a weekly basis. So if you wanna see that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'll leave the last episode of this series right here. Don't forget to check out today's sponsored native there's a 25% off discount in the description for you and remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do bye guys <laughs>